Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my spring detox with castor oil and fresh juice. I have already made one of the juices that I'm going to be drinking for this detox so let me just show you. I start off with making my Crystalline's Lean Green Juice. And if you look at the color here, you can see how lovely that is. It's so dark and wonderful. Let me show you what is inside of this juice. I get excited about it. Okay, first of all, I want you to know that I always choose fruits and vegetables that are high water yield fruits and vegetables. So what's in this juice? I have celery, cucumber, gala apples, and I also have spinach. Now, if you look at the dark green color of this spinach, you can tell why my juice comes out so dark. It's awesome. So the recipe, I can put the recipe in the description box, but I'm gonna tell you, I only made two bottles of my green juice because during this juice detox, I'm also probably gonna be having some water and some tea. So one bottle, a day is going to be enough for me. I'm only doing it for maybe three, four or five days. So this is going to be enough. Plus I'm going to also have my pineapple and orange juice as well. So I specifically only uh, used a little bit of fruits and vegetables for these two bottles. So let me tell you what I put. I put about three stalks of celery. I used one whole large cucumber. I used two large gala apples and one small gala apple. And the reason why I did that is because, you know, with the spinach, the spinach can be very, very strong. I only put about maybe three, three quarters, a half to three quarters of a cup of spinach in it this time because I find when I put more it gives it that kind of dirty taste and it's hard to you know balance that out with the other flavors so I use less spinach this time but I like it because it has the iron it has all the minerals that I want and it gives it that beautiful beautiful dark green color so the gala apples just kind of you know tones that taste down a little bit while I can still get the spinach nutrition also I use the ginger root and this time I was really really careful about how much I put in and I cut it up in these little small chunks like that and I put in just one chunk at a time and I taste it in between because sometimes if you put in too much ginger root as um, at the same time yeah too much of it at the same time you'll end up making your juice way too spicy and then you have to overcompensate by adding a lot more of the fruits and vegetables so i'm getting to be a much smarter juicer let's go on right now and i'll show you how i'm going to make the pineapple and orange juice i haven't quite decided which method that I'm going to go with for my castor oil detox. One method says to take the castor oil the night before and allow it to work uh, until you get up in the morning. But another method says to take it at about 6 a.m. and follow it with your juice. So I'm gonna have my juice ready just in case. I'm probably gonna go with that method because I get to drink my juice <laughs> after I take the castor oil. Uh, so I'm just gonna have everything ready and let's go on with the pineapple and orange juice. Before I show you how I'm going to make it, let me show you these oranges. Oh my gosh, they had these up at our local fruit store and they were three for a dollar. I wish I could just tell you how big they are. I didn't measure them, but they are awesome. And actually I tasted them while I was cutting them up and they are so good and delicious. Let me give you a tip about when you're going to make orange juice from scratch. 
What you'll need to do is you'll need to actually peel the oranges because if you put the orange slices in there without peeling them, that is with the skin on them, they're gonna taste, the juice is gonna taste very, very sour. I made a mistake and did that before, so I'm just letting you know you will need to take the peel off the orange slices before you put them in the juicer. So here are my orange slices and here are my pineapple chunks. I like to do all this the night before so I don't have to do it on the same day as I'm making videos. So I have these ready and I also have my ginger root. Let's just get started with this juicing. A couple of things that I want to show you is number one, I'm going to be using the Sana Supreme Juicer. This is an excellent juicer and I haven't used it before, but Jim showed me how to use it. So that's what I'm using today. I'm also going to have a pitcher and I like to put the juice in here so that I can stir it up and taste it before I'm done and I can see what I'll need to Add. also have my stirring spoon right here so I can stir everything up uh, as I go after I have it in the pitcher. So let's get started. I love this Sana Supreme. It's so quiet. Well, wait and see how quiet this is. And you see that? Very quiet. So I'm going to start with the pineapple chunks. Now pineapple is very, very highly nutritious. It protects against inflam inflammation and it has a lot of antioxidants. It's great for digestion because it has a nutrient in it called bromelain and if you ever take digestive enzymes which I do you'll notice that bromelain is one of the key ingredients in digestive enzymes pineapple also has a lot of vitamins it has vitamin C actually one pineapple has 78.9 milligrams which is eight percent of the daily value that you need to be healthy. Pineapple has the antioxidants which also help to protect against inflammation. It also has potassium. Actually it's very high in potassium. It has 986 milligrams in one pineapple. Yes, it does. It also has, uh, what did I say? I said vitamin C. It also has vitamin B6. It has folate, 29.7 micrograms, and that is about 7% of the daily value. And one cup of pineapple has about 82.5 calories. I think it's about 450 calories in one pineapple. It is high in sugar and it has 21 grams of carbohydrates. However, I'm not going to worry about too much about the sugar in my pineapple because I figure it's natural sugar. I just want to make sure that I don't have too much processed sugar and processed carbohydrate sugar going into my body. Zero percent cholesterol and the total fat in a cup of pineapple is like 1.1 gram. That's just microscopic. So you can see the juice coming out down here. Look at that color. Is that not beautiful? It is beautiful and you should smell it in here right now. It smells so fresh. I wonder if they have pineapple perfume. <laughs> it would make a good perfume. It just tastes I mean, it smells so good. So I just use that to push it down a little bit. And this was the uh, 
juice from one whole pineapple. I did use one pineapple and it was kind of small. It was about that big. And they also had those on sale at my local fruit store. So I got one of those. I think it cost about $1.50. So I turn it off, close the spigot right there so it won't drip out and take a look at that. Is that beautiful? It's like liquid sunshine. Just like that. And I'm going to put some in my pitcher right now. Now, if you wonder what I do with the pulp that comes out from my juices, because a lot does come out. And sometimes I actually add some into the juice that I'm going to drink. But you see, it comes out like that. But what we also do is we also give some to our animals outside and then we also put anything else that we don't want to use into our compost pile in the back. So let's go on and do the oranges and I can't wait to see how this tastes. I know it's going to be so excellent. I can't wait. I tasted these oranges yesterday and they are absolutely delicious. Now, in the orange, you know, oranges are famous for having vitamin C. There is 86% water in one whole orange. They're about 66 calories might be more in these super large ones like this but for an average orange you're going to get about 66 calories it is anti-inflammatory and it has some very very good antioxidants and carotenoids and flavonoids and I'm going to tell you what they are because there are two of them one of them is hesperidin and that one may help to lower blood pressure and so these oranges are heart healthy the other one is naringenin and that one may help improve blood vessel function so you want to keep oranges in your healthy diet plan for heart health also in oranges we have calcium and the calcium gives us about 5% of the daily value of calcium that we need. We also have 2.8 grams of fiber, and you can see the fiber right there, and also in the venous part of the orange, you can see the fiber. There are 174 milligrams of potassium, 2% of your daily needed income comes in the form of magnesium. Now, again, <laughs> the oranges are kind of high in sugar. They have 12 grams, but if you're watching your sugar intake in your other foods, um, I don't think an orange is gonna hurt you. You know, ask your doctor about it. I'm not the doctor. I'm just telling you what I like. Okay, so that's a little bit about orange in your juice. And I, you know, when I was little, I used to love orange pineapple juice. I remember it was by Dole and it came in the big cans and that was such a treat for me. And that was a long time ago. And I think it's wonderful and fantastic how I can now make my own orange pineapple juice. So, that's how you do. If it gets a little tough, you can just push it down like that. There we go. I'm really glad to know that the orange juice has that heart healthy function because I love oranges, especially when they're huge and big and sweet 
like the ones I got. There we go. Yes, indeed. Lovely, lovely orange juice. The next thing that I'm gonna add are my little tiny pieces of ginger root. Not gonna add too much. Let's try two pieces first. Now I'm thinking this is gonna be enough at least for two bottles the same size as my green juice bottles. Let me show you. My husband got like a whole case of these drought bottles. <laughs> so this is, um, let me see, I think this is about eight ounces right here. So it's a good size bottle. And I'm gonna put some in my glass and taste it before I add any more ginger root. You have to be careful with that ginger root. Now if you look at this color, look at this. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell that. It smells so good, it's just beautiful. And I'm gonna add it in here. And I do have some more oranges that I'm gonna put in here, so it's gonna make a little bit more than that, but I just wanted to stop for a moment and taste this to make sure it's not too much ginger root. I don't want it to be too spicy especially when I'm trying to detox. You know, you don't want anything that's gonna make your stomach upset. So let me just taste this. Oh my God, that is my new favorite right there. So I'm just gonna go on and finish up and add the rest of these juice pieces to the juice. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like in a minute. This is the orange and pineapple juice. Look at how beautiful that is. And I'm gonna taste it for you right now. Mmm. Wow. It's so good. It's like the, the perfect blend of pineapple and oranges. And so for this recipe, I used one whole pineapple which I told you was kind of small. If you want to have more, you can use a larger pineapple or you can use two. And I used uh, two oranges. And so that's the yield right there. Sometimes I will take and cut that in half and put in like filtered water if I wanna have more. But as I said before, I'm probably not going to be detoxing for that many days and I'm also going to be drinking the water, the green juice, and also my favorite Earl Grey tea. So I don't need that much, but wow, you have to taste this juice. If you have a juicer at home, I highly recommend this recipe. So that's it for part two of my castor oil and detox cleanse, well, spring cleanse video. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments section. You know I like to hear from you. Whatever you have to say, let's hear it. Thanks for watching again. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.